WITH ANOTHER STORY TIME! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Y'all know what we on. Yo, thanks for the sub, Mac. Welcome to the family, you hear me? Now look. Uh, if you're not in my Twitch, I need you to come to my Twitch. Rod, you're not, pay you're not posting on the main page. We taking a break from the main page right now. We, we on Twitch full time right now. I be back to the main page. Give me, give me, give me three more weeks. I be back to the main page. But we on the Twitch. Pull up to the Twitch. She loves ride. You hear me? Now look, yo, this was in August, right? And I was talking to this girl. Now, what I realized is in men's life, a lot of altercations stir from girls, bro. Even if you be like, yo. I don't fight over bitches, like, because I'm that bull. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm not fighting over a girl. If it's my girl, I fight you, but I'm not fighting over a girl. Um, you just, I'm not crashing out by the girl, but stuff do start because then you get to the point where if you get into it with a nigga, it's like, who you talking to, though? But it's, it's still stemming from the girl. But let me, let me get into it, though. You gonna fight the girl? Never the girl, but it's like, when you fighting somebody, it seems like a girl always involved, though. But if it's my girl, though, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for her, though. I'm fighting for her. Like, don't think, don't think that me. You could come slap my bitch, and I'm gonna be like, look, nigga, slap her again. Like, nah, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. But like, fighting for a girl, though. Come on, bro. Who the fuck is he talking to? I'm on Twitch, bro. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, I thought you was... What you talk about? I know that's right. No, I slapped the shit out of somebody. They tried to test my girl. But peep it though. Right? Right, you my man. I'm slapping hoes about my little shit. <laughs> no, not even hoes. I just meant fighting, period. He trying to go domestic on him. <laughs> he talking about, Rod, I'm not going to hold you. I'm slapping hoes about my little shit. He just crashed out. Chill, bro. Yo, chill the fuck out. Peep it though, peep it. Nah, me too though. Me too. Can I be honest with y'all? And and this fella the fellas, I'm not talking to the ladies right now. Until you see your girl fight, don't believe none of the hype. I have not seen one bitch. I have not seen one bitch who said, oh no, I don't fight. Every bitch in Philly, I'm not used to that. Every bitch in Philly pop it, but they all can't fight. So when you dating somebody and they popping it, back your girl up, bro. Don't let her, don't, don't let her die. Don't let her die. I'm never letting my bitch die. Any bitch think they fighting my bitch, I'm going to fucking slump you. I'm slumping you. I don't know if she can fight. So I'm going to slump you. Even if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, if you hit my bitch too hard, I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop you. But I'ma jab this shit out you. One jab, you're done. Like I'm too powerful. I'ma just jab you, bah! And I'ma just chip just because I don't know if my girl could fight. And I'ma take her away from that situation. And if it's multiple bitches, I'm throwing them bitches like I'm Canelo. I'm throwing them bitches like I'm Canelo, bro. If it's multiple bitches jumping my girl, I'm throwing them like Canelo. I'm going up and under on bitches. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you feel me? Ah! I'm going up, yeah. I'm going upside shit. I'm not going to lie, bro. Somebody brother going to want to kill me after that. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Somebody brother going to want to take me right out. But Pete, though. No, nah, right. Yeah, my little yeah right now don't rumble. Won't really raise her voice at anyone. I just, I just step. You, yeah, you just got to step in for her. But peep it, though. Peep it. Let's get back into the story. All just to the side. All just to the side. Peep it. Everything stemmed for a girl. So I was talking to this girl, right? And while I'm talking to this girl, she, and, and this is not an important girl. I don't want y'all to really, like, 
pay attention to 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 this. But I just want y'all to just you know know what's going on. You feel me? Like she, she's not important. Don't worry about this because the story is not her cheating. Yes, she was cheating. Don't worry about that. I don't want y'all. I don't want that to be the wow factor for y'all. I want y'all to pay attention to the to the fight. But yeah, she 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 cheated. But it and it was a short joint too, a quick cheat. You ever get cheated on first two months? You ever get cheated on first month? You feel me? So what's the wild factor? The the fight. I'm about to tell y'all the fight. No, nah, first day. You got cheated on first day? What digging was you doing to find it? It's like, damn, did you even try? It's so disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I wasn't even sick because I didn't even get attached to her. Like, it's gonna take me a little minute to oh I right, get attached and no, I wasn't even attached, so like. This Duke Dennis, can you do a bad flip? That's Duke Dennis and your name creator Relax Six. <laughs> okay, buddy. First month and it was my birthday. Damn! Niggas get grimy. I don't know what it is about Philly niggas, but they get grimy around the birthdays. They leave like they leave. They cheat. Like it's like they crazy, bro. Philly niggas don't. <laughs> If it's your birthday, run, bro. Enjoy your birthday and then date that nigga. They be popped. But I never experienced that. But I know a lot of girls be like, bro, keep it a buck, fellas. Keep it a buck. And if you're watching this on YouTube, keep it a buck. I really need to know. Keep it a buck. Nobody is judging you. Have you left a girl because you ain't had it? Or act funny around her birthday or anything because you ain't had the money. Yes, I was sick. I'm not going to lie. Like the day before. Facts. Yeah, I was slum though. I left because I was popped. Okay. Okay. At least some of them telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. They be trying to break up before Christmas. <laughs> Y'all know what type bull I am? I'm just going to keep it a buck, bro. Like when I ain't have it, I used to let it. You got to be. You got to let it be known. I ain't got it. That was in ball of her court. You gonna leave? Go ahead and leave. A year, a year, a year from today, I'm a, I'm a turn into Rajis. You can leave though. You feel me? Like I'ma just say it. If she leaves, she leave. But ball of her court. I'm not gonna lie. Telling the truth is always the way. I told the truth one time, and we put our money together and just got some and got some food together. She just respected it, and it was thorough. Yeah, she respected it. Oh shit! Yo, humble hitter. Humble hitter. Yes, sir. Hold up. There it go. The tick. The uh, my phone died. Humble hitter one with the flame emojis. Thank you, humble hitter. I appreciate you for the ten subs. Turned us right up. I fuck with Rod for real, gang. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. That's real, bro. Appreciate you, humble. <laughs> You the second humble we know. We know the two humbles now. Appreciate you. He wasn't here, broke. He was just weird. I'm free now. Damn. She used the word free. That's crazy. All right, Pete, though. I'm talking to this girl, bro, and I'm going to tell you how I found out she was cheating. Let's dive into it. Look, I'm talking to this girl. Whoa. Take it to the beginning. How did you meet this girl, right? Quick, quick, John. Text her on the gram. Mind you, at this point, I got my aura. My aura is here. My aura is here as a young boy. And mind you. She's older than me. INCC, I didn't need to. I used to text a girl like, hey. And, bro, you know you in it when they text back, hey, Rod. I got people texting. I got I got people texting back with my name. I never met this bitch in my life. Hey, Rod. Humble headed. Thanks for the fucking five subs. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, humble. Let's go, humble. But Pete, I text back. I, th I think I text back what's good, though. I didn't text back, hey, but I used to say, like, hey. I think I text, like, what's good? She said, hey, Rod. Soon, soon as you do it like that, come on. But you, you should know, like, don't make them think that means something. I feel like that. I feel like, I feel like with me, it meant something, though. For me, I feel like for right, you should know if it means something. No, she probably know you because, nigga, you go to her school. It's different, though. I never, we don't, 
we don't even follow each other. Like I never met this girl. All I all it was was saw you on TikTok. Oh, go to the Instagram. Text you. Hey Rod. Cool. Now mind you, I didn't let it get to my head. Like yeah, I'm bull. I just kept going. Like all right, I'm about to bag you. So I bag her or whatever. We start talking. That's how we met. Boom. But we talking or whatever, right? Pete, Miles, thanks for the sub, Miles. Pete, we talking or whatever. The live stop. Now I'm lost. Yeah, bro, my fucking, this phone died. I got y'all on the other phone, though. Mm -hmm. But we talking or whatever. We in person, we busting it up, we chilling, everything cool, everything fine, bro. You up right now. Um, <laughs> What type of up? But everything cool, what's the badges? Like, how she look? Dark skin, dark skin baddie. Dark skin baddie. <laughs> Come on. Dark skin baddie. Come on, bro. Dark skin baddie. What what else? What else? You know what the badges was. Dark skin is crazy. Bro, you ain't never meet a dark skin. I'm talking about. I'm talking about like baddie. Dark skin. You feel me? That's what I like. You, you don't feel me? We need those. You feel me? Where the hashtags? I'm putting the hashtags to that. Hashtag need that. I need that. Yes. Double. Yes, bro. So she dark skin bad. She's fire. I'm not going to lie. That's the only reason. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's why social media is fake. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all need to be cheating, bro. To all the fellas in here, y'all like, yeah, I'm, I used to be slum. Yo, Miles, thanks for the sub, broski. Oh, that's another sub. Appreciate you. Most. Thank, thank you, bro. Thanks for the sub. But look, this is why you don't need to be cheating. Now, let me tell you what TikTok do, right? So you got a bad bitch. You got a bad bitch. She may be in Minnesota, Boston, Jersey, Delaware, Philly, Houston, Miami. She pick up her phone. Mind you, granted, she is a bad bitch. That's the only thing that's not false. The only thing real about this situation I'm about to tell you is that she is a bad bitch. So, fellas, put yourself in my shoes. I'm about to really walk you through my mindset. This is how it works, bro. A random bad bitch from anywhere. She picks up her phone. She records herself. Cool. She lip syncing. I know bitches thirst trapping us 24 hours a day. So, yo, yo. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yo, y'all getting me right. Y'all getting me right. Yes, sir. Niaja, thanks for the 10 subs. Stop tricking on me. Stop tricking on me, Niaja. She said... She said, well, I'm wearing Lulu right now. And she said she buy eat. She's spending the money. She's spending the money. She big, <laughs> big bucks. Stop tricking. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I told you I feel bad when the ladies, you feel me? Thank you for the 10. I ain't gonna lie. She just carried it. She carried it. I appreciate you. Peep, lock it with me, though. Miles, I see you, though. <laughs> Miles said, hun, take this little sub. Ew. Level 7 hype train in the middle of the story time. You hear me? Y'all yeah, know how we get. But peep it though, peep it though, peep it though. Never mind, he's real. Who, me? Nigga, I'm real. What? I ain't never gonna make y'all think I'm not real. That's that celebrity shit. It's like, yo, I never see this nigga. I'm real. I'm hungry as shit right now. I'm a real, I'm real. I'm black as shit. I'm real. This real life. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I'm really a 7 out of 10. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to get my looks up. I'm trying to get the build up. You feel me? Dancing, nigga. I stream a little bit. <laughs> you just got to catch me in Target, bro. I'll be in Target. <laughs> Yo, Target, let me get that sponsor. Yo, soon as Target give me the sponsor, we doing a meet and greet in Target. Soon as they give me the sponsor. Target, what's up? What's up, Target? I want the sponsor. And I got my Target pajamas on. Red. What? Stop playing with me. Gotta look out for the cookout. Thank you, Niaja. Lavish, thanks for the sub. Let's get into it, though. But look, fe fellas, lock in with me. This is why you should not be cheating. Pete, it's a bad bitch in whatever state, whatever city. She's in her room. We don't know her problem. We don't know nothing. All we see is she's bad as shit. Now, ladies, I'm about to break y'all down. I don't want y'all to feel offended by this. But look. That's why you don't got options. Pete, you got your girlfriend. You see this bad bitch. She pulls up, lip syncing. You know bitches got try to uh 
They 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 thirst they thirst trapping us all the all the all the time, all the time posting themselves while they looking good. But now we harass. But now we harass. We harassing though, cause she, they look like a bad bitch. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I hate hit, hitting bitches with INCC. If you don't know what INCC is, that's when I'm shooting my shot. I hate hitting bitches with INCC because I know if you bad, I know if you look good, then a lot of niggas is shooting a shot. And I'm just another nigga shooting his fucking shot. But how I'm gonna get you if I don't shoot my shot? So it's just a, it's a, it's, it's that jump. That's a side note though. But peep it. These girls posting up. Thirst trapped in us. Thirst trapped in us, right? You see her, you cheat. You text her, you want some cheating shit. You try and get her. You gotta realize, bro, right? You gotta realize. This girl, nine times out of ten over social media, she don't live in your neighborhood, right? Seven, seven times out of ten, you don't have a car, right? This, I'm telling you, this is why you really don't have options. You breaking up your family, your home. For this shit. Seven times out of ten, you don't have a car, so you're not seeing her. You feel me? That extra one to make it eight out of eight out of ten, bro, you're not driving to go see her. Or flying. So it's gonna be long distance. Do not leave don't lose your bitch over a bitch that's miles away. So that's already that's already half of your options going on TikTok. And all the other times, bro, these girls, the baddest bitches, you're you're gaslighting yourself. Because now she texting you back and you like, yeah, I got this. But once you lose your bitch, bro, this bitch is not no better. She's never, it's never greener on the other side, bro. If you really think it's greener, just leave your bitch. But most of the time you cheating, bro, it's not that type of joint. Now, if you cheating in person with somebody you know, still don't cheat. But I'm just talking about over social media. Over social media, you don't have those options. But if it's in person, I mean, bro, you, you just cheating. You feel me? Which is, I mean, it's not cool, but <laughs> like literally, if it's not in person, if you don't know that person in person, you it's it's not an option for real. The pause, the pause is kind of to just say, I'm just telling y'all, all the options on social media is not real options. The options you know, they are options. I'm not saying you should cheat though, but peep it though. Um, me and the girl talking, dark skin baddie. She really, she really looked good. I saw her on TikTok, and and nine times out of ten, bro. When I when I click that shit to see like oh wh where you from, if you somewhere far, I'm never talking to you, bro. I don't I don't do long distance, to be frankly honest. I'm not even gonna flirt with you if you're in a different state. It's no point. I kinda just like, I kinda would just be like oh alright, and then it would just be like yeah you look good oh, alright thank you. It's just gonna stop there. You look good thank you. After you say thank you, I never text you again. And I feel like it's better that way too, cause then I'm not wasting both of your time and you know I know you look good. You feel me? It's just, it's better that way. Just let her know she look good and just, uh, I don't ever take it there. But the girl end up being like living in Philly. So I'm linking up with her, shit going good and all that, mind you. She wanted a girl, mind you. Don't trust girls with, and this the red flags right here. If she got long nails, a big ass phone case, and a pink room, you might be, <laughs> it's a 75% chance. You will get cheated on. <laughs> it's a 75% chance. You will get cheated on. <laughs> if she got all three of those. It's a 75% chance. I'm not saying if she got one of those. If she got all three. A big ass extra phone case. Long nails in a pink aesthetic room, 75% chance you're getting cheated on. Trust me. What you being messy for? Oh, the girl. <laughs> Look, all the girls now, they like, oh, shit, we, we under attack. Look, now they buy, yo. <laughs> R. Kelly me. Watch out. <laughs> you going to play that role? You going to play that role when they play that role with you all day? Yeah, that's really her. They play that role with you all day. That's really what they say. How do you be feeling when they say that to you? Being messy for what? I'm keeping it a buck, bro. Hold up. Now, peep this. What about the iPad? Nigga, you know the extras. If, and, and if she got an iPad, that's even more. That's four out of... Keep going up. That's four out of four. Keep going. What? If she got all of these, bro, you're done. But, Pete, 
I should have knew I was cooked, mind you. But I ain't gonna lie, that be some of the baddest bitches, bro. That be some of the baddest bitches. That be some of the baddest bitches, though. But you might get cheated on. Now, Pete, I'm in her room. I'm chilling. We watching a movie. We heavy movie bulls. I'm not gonna lie. Get a little explicit. We start the movie. We start the movie. We never finish the movie. <laughs> I don't finish movies. Well, never finish the movie. I'm gonna keep it a buck. We we st we we start the movies. Don't finish. No, we finished one movie. We finished one movie. We finished one movie. I was fucking with it. Titanic, John. We finished the Titanic. Boo. Bro, we... <laughs> Bro, we don't finish it. We finished the Titanic, though. That John was W movie. It was Titanic. It was a good John, bro. I, I give it a rewatch every, every so... You feel me? Every so often. Long as a movie. That's a good movie, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all fuck with the Titanic? Okay. Ah, uh, just to get kitty. Now I'm a movie boy though. I'm a movie boy. I am. Never saw it. It's a great movie. It is long. I love it though. I ain't lie. I love it. I wish I watched it multiple times. But Pete, we wasn't watching the Titanic. We wasn't watching nothing. She actually was like, all right, getting in the shower, coming in and out of the room. And one of the times she was coming in and out of the room, her phone is on the bed. So I'm like, damn, I want to touch that John. But then again, I know not to touch phones. I don't touch phones, bro. If you touch a girl phone, you will get your feelings hurt. If you touch a girl's phone, you will get your feelings hurt. Trust me. You will. So just don't ever touch her phone. And same thing for the girls. Don't touch that nigga phone. Now, now, now when you crying... You pissed and you leaving him. <laughs> you shouldn't have touched that, John. Don't touch a nigga phone, bro. Don't touch a nigga phone. Mind you, that don't go for me. I'm not speaking for me personally. If you my girl, you could touch my phone. But I won't touch your phone. It's backwards. Leave the phones alone, though. I'm going to tell you why. Because even if she not cheating... She likes somebody picture. If she ain't like somebody picture, she follows somebody. If she ain't follow somebody, she talking shit about you in her notes. If she not talking shit about you in her notes, she talking shit about you in the in the friend group chat. If she ain't talking about you in the friend group chat, she got screenshots of a nigga shooting shooting his shot at her. Why would you screenshot that? Who knows? It's something. And you're gonna keep searching until you find something that hurts your own feelings. So it's kinda a setup. It's a setup because you're gonna keep searching until you find something. And then when you don't find nothing, you're going to think she's deleting stuff. So just don't even touch her phone. Don't even do it. You're going to find something, bro. Yes, bro. Trust me. But Pete, though, something telling me to touch her phone, right? So I touch her phone. And her phone unlocked. It's on Instagram. Now, the page she on is not her page. I'm like, what? I'm like, who page is she on? It's a third spam. What did I tell y'all? I didn't make that list for no reason. Five things you getting cheated on. Bro, if you have a third spam, you are doing something sneaky. You do not need three spams. On, oh, you only, your boyfriend in the second spam, but not the third, John. How, how I'm... F first of all, I'm in the first and second. I'm just not in the third. Not one, but two spams. No, three! Not one, not two, but three. Not the third spam. It's a girl thing. Now it's just supposed to be. No, it's just a girl. No. Three spams. Three spams. So, Pete. I'm not a girl then. <laughs> Maya disowning that shit. Pete, though, on the third. There is just one John. She got five spams. And she Joe is shit. The more spams is the Joe or the more or, or the more sneaky. I know niggas with five pages. They probably whores or they get absolutely no bitches. Trust me, it, it's the same thing for guys. Guys not even supposed to have one spam. We 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 we've been letting this slide with one. So as a boy, if you got five spams, you freaky, nigga. You freaky or you getting logged out? I'm talking about actively using. You're freaky, nigga. Three spams is pretty normal, to be honest, for a girl. Now, look, 
this how they shit gonna look. Main page, thousand followers, maybe 800, 2000, something slight. First spam, 200, third spam. Uh, first spam, 200, third spam, 80. Uh, a second spam, 80. Third John, it'd be like 20 niggas in there. Now, this is the third spam, right? The only people in the spam is girls. It's straight girls. So I'm happy because I'm like, damn, it's, it's no niggas in here. But I just need to look a little deeper. So now I know the page exists. I lock her phone. I put it back. I don't like sneaking through a nigga shit because I'm not going to lie. I went through phones three times. One time was this time. One time was with my girl. And then one time was with a girl I didn't even date. I just checked her phone. And I saw she was hoeing. So I'm just like, oh, all right. And she, she saw that I saw she was hoeing. I kind of did it at her face. So, so I don't know if you count that. If you don't count that, kind of like two. But I'm like, let me see. And we went through that shit together. But I'm talking about on some check the phone and oh shit, nobody know you checked it twice. I'm not going to lie. So this, this nah, no, it's three. I mean, look, make it four, fuck it. So you can sleep better. So boom, I put her phone back. I don't want to get caught. That be my thing. My thing be, if I'm checking your phone, I don't want you to come back in and I'm like, what would you, <laughs> what would you do? You come back in a room, right? You come back in a room. And your phone tilted up. The nigga like kind of. Ladies, what you doing? If, if you come back in the room, your phone tilted up. This nigga ain't your phone. And he tried. And you come in and he lock it. <laughs> what, what you doing? Swing it immediately. What? I'm going to slap the shit out of him. God just rush you. <laughs> Put him in a four Nelson stomping on that nigga head for looking through your phone. No, nah, if you swing on me after I look through that John, like bro, you dead ass. What? And then you gonna ask him if he dead ass? No, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I get swung on, I'm out. I'm leaving the relationship. <laughs> Why you got it in the first place? I know I'm wrong, but you two wrong. That's why two wrongs don't make it right. You better off guilt tripping me or just like really going at me. Because once you swing, I'm out. Like, bitch, you. Bitch! What, bitch? What? Bitch, swing. Bitch! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out, bro. I'm gonna just start screaming. I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> I'm gonna just start screaming. I'm out! <laughs> you was gonna leave me anyways though I didn't even find nothing Because I didn't go through it I just wanted a little bit of info I just wanted to see Especially like And I don't know what it is bro I don't know what it is either I'm very self aware I got like I got this like It's this nigga thing I got And like And I know girls got it But it's just like Little nitpicky shit like, it's just little shit. Like, if I if I see my girl like, yo, <laughs> like, is my bitch laughing? Like, I'm not, I'm not like, all right, one giggle, I'm mad. But if she, like, constantly cracking the fuck up, I kind of just look like, who the fuck? Who the fuck on your phone? You feel me? Or, 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 it's not even just one giggle. Because girls get mad about, bro, I be TikTok. It could be funny basketball, joint. <laughs> my bitch pissed. I'm talking about you really cracking up, like. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, what's... Like, yo, ah, Like, and then you ain't... And then I'll wait. I'm never gonna ask you what was funny. I'm never gonna ask you. So if you don't show me, I'm gonna feel like, yo... Especially, I know the group chat laugh. Ladies, y'all think I don't know. It be the group chat. Look! Look at the Leah. It be the group chats. I know. I know. I know the, I know that laugh. <laughs> Quick, y'all loud. And then... And then... Yeah, no, nah, I know. Fuck y'all talking about. I'm your nigga, and I know they ain't bidding on me. Fuck you letting them. Because if it's about that bitch you've been telling me about, update me on the news. Well, why am I not being told what's funny? What's funny? That's what I be wanting to know. What's funny is that, and the other thing is, look, bro, a pet peeve is 
not turning your ringer off. So our ears tap 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 send zoop zoop ding ding zoop zoop ding. Mm, mm. Who blowing your fucking phone up? It could have been Gmail three times, but why your shit not muted? So now I want to know. Ding. Does nothing about it. Ding. Does nothing about it. Now I'm looking like, damn, that was twice. Why y'all want to check that? <laughs> Bro, that shit, you feel me? <clears throat> shit start, like your shit jumping over there. Why your shit break dancing and you not touching it? It just make me overthink. That's the two things that would get me, though. I'm not going to lie. And I know that's probably like some girl shit, but it just, it's like, no, nah, come on, bro. Time you put your shit on silent, bro. I feel like everybody's shit should naturally be on silent. Unless you got, unless you set an alarm for the next morning, your shit should be silent. That's me, though. I just feel like that's a rule everybody follow, but they don't. But, Pete, I put her phone right down. I sit it, I sit it down. She come back in the room. Now I know she got a third spam. I know the name. So as she talking to me, I'm looking up the name right there because she can't see my phone. I'm looking up the name. I find it. It's private. Cool. Now I want to know what's really on that spam. You feel me? Like what's really on that, John? Now I forget about the page. I forget about the page. Two weeks pass. I'm not worrying about it. Yo, we watching a movie. We watching a movie. In the movie, the, the, uh, the bitch is cheating. And we have a little conversation. And I don't like having debates because I feel like I'm a good debater. That's me personally. If I give a fuck. If I give a fuck about the topic, I'm going to debate it till I die. I'm a debate boy. I am. Right? So I hate debating with my significant other or the person I talk to. Because now, we putting our love to the side to prove our point. Like, you one of my homies. Now I'm saying, like, I'm really getting it. Like, I don't like debate. You feel me? Not with my girl. Like, with anybody else. Any bitch. Any of my homies. Any nigga. But not my girl. So now we debating. I'm like, that's that shit. She paused it. What's that shit? Mind you. Fast forward, I, oh, I already told y'all she cheated. I already told y'all she was cheating, bro. So now looking back, she's bogus as shit for having this debate with me. But this is the debate, right? So in the movie, the girl was cheating. And I'm like, that's that shit. So she paused it. What's that shit? I'm like, that, bro. I'm like, girls really be cheating. Girls just sneaky. So I'm just feeling some type of way. Like when I say that, bro, it don't even be to come at girls. I know that's not all girls. I don't look at all girls and be like, yeah, you sneaky. I be talking. I just be talking like. And to the person in the room, kinda, I'm kinda just like, girls be sneaky and I'm talking about her though, kinda. Cause it started making me think about the spam and shit, right? So now, as we having that debate and we really getting in there, I ended off with, you know what bro, you right. She's still talking, I'm like, bro, you right, bro. Alright. I don't even want to talk about it no more. I'm like, alright bro, you right. You feel me? Like, I'm like, alright, cool. I let her have it. Now, only thing on my mind is, what's on that spam? That's the only thing on my mind now. After seeing that clip, my stomach ain't even sit, sit right. Agree to disagree. Oh, my gosh. People swear I'm manipulating when I say that. I swear to God. Because I'm never going to switch my stance for you. So, I'm going to hit you with an agree to disagree. And, bro, y'all know how many times somebody, you manipulating. Because I don't agree. Let's just stop talking about it. I disagree. And you disagree with me. That's just it. Like, okay. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I, okay. I don't know. The fuck? Bro, I will hit a agree to disagree real quick. And it's not even being nonchalant. But I feel like, all right, this getting heated. We both getting our feelings involved. This ain't got nothing to do with our real life relationship. Let's agree to disagree. If it's about us, I'm going to dive deep. We could talk about it. But, bro, if it's some other shit, bro, come on, bro. We about to agree to disagree. This shit ain't there got nothing to do with us. You feel me? But now I want to know what's on that spam, though. Fuck all that. Fuck, fuck the yet. What's on that spam? I want to know what's on that spam. So I'm waiting for her to go to the bathroom. Is this pre-recorded? No, this is not, Maya. No, it's not. So now I want to know what's on that spam, bro. That's the top thing on my mind. She go to the bathroom. And she used to leave her phone too. But she heavy. Text, text, text. Lock. Hello? Lock. Like she locked. Boy, and I only called her during that day where she was showering and going back and forth. Because we was having a good time. When you when you showing a girl a good time and she having a good time, that's when she most likely to uh slip up. You want to catch your bitch cheating? Show her love. Make her feel comfortable. Make her feel like it's all good with you. She going to start getting a little careless because she love you. If she ain't loving you, nigga, she making sure. Lock. 
She not ever in the love trance. If she not in the love trance, you're a done bun. But we was loving it up that day, so she was lacking. But, like, it, it, it was chilling. Like, I'm not saying the day that she kept locking her phone or every other day is not a lovey day. But you know how you just, like, you know how you just have really good days with the person you talk to? It be like, yo, this one of our best days. Like, you feel me? Like, that was a good day. Besides me finding out it was a third spam. But, Pete, though, I want to know what's on that spam now. Now, why do you want to know what's on the spam? I see the shit. So, I can't. I see the shit on the movie. It remind me, right? So, now, I'm like, I want to see what's on that spam. I'm trying to get in her phone. I don't check my phone to look up the spam. I never get into the spam, bro. I never get into the spam that day, right? Cool. Like, two days later, something tell me, look up the spam. I look up the spam, right? Why the spam go up by three followers? What it was like? It was like 15-15. Then it went up 18 18 So now, following and followers. So it's like everybody who followed this, John, it's personal invites because you're following them back. So why did it why did it go up three followers and the following go up three? You feel me? Like you just and I know whoever get in there, you know who they is. Cause it's it's such a little bit of people. And mind you, I just felt like she was the type of girlfriend who who just didn't you feel me? Like she wasn't she wasn't on no secretive shit. Like, I, she ain't let me be on no secretive shit. And I ain't let her. She know what it was. So, it was a joint where it was like, one, I had to check your phone to, I had to check your phone to find out this even exists. And two, the following going up. And I'm your boyfriend who she, she used to be, yeah, my boyfriend and my best friend. Mind you, bitches who cap into you, they gonna sell you the biggest dreams. Girls who really love you be nervous to tell you how they really feel, bro. They're not really going to get in there. They'll probably show you through actions. Girls who do all this yapping at the lips and less loving, more yap, less love, them be the bitches cheating, bro. So she she always do all this yapping. Mm -hmm. You my best friend and my boyfriend at the same time. Yeah, it sounds too good to be true, bitch. Stop lying. Yeah, we heard that already, bitch. Next. You feel me? Girls who really care about you be... Still nervous, like y'all be dating for months. They still nervous when you come around. They love you, like that's, bro. Girls really get like that. You feel me? And they really just be acting on it. Girls who do all this talking, you gotta really lock into, like what she really doing though. Fuck all the words. Write her actions down. You gonna see right. Th that's the blueprint right there. But peep it though. I see it go up by three. So now I'm like, y'all really got. I really gotta see this shit, bro. So, Pete, now I'm going over to her house the next day. I'm like, I'm going to find out. I try to get on her phone. I don't get on her phone. I come to her house the next day. Now I'm just basically busting it up with her. I'm like, I'm going to see if this bitch cheating. I forgot the task. I ain't going to lie. The first day I went there, I forgot the task. We actually had a good-ass day. I went out to a party with her. You feel me? We partied up. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. we go back to the jail. We watch some movies. We stayed up late night laughing on the phone and shit. Mind you, we on TikTok. And I thought about it, but I'm just like, yo, I'm enjoying myself. Second day, I'm right back to it. She distracted me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Flirted with, it, flirted with me a little bit. Got me. Cool. Second day, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in this phone. You feel me? Fuck all that. I don't care what she's saying to me. I don't care if I win the lottery. Hey, yeah, let's we hype, babe. Before we cash this, y'all, let me see that phone. That's what it would have been. It don't matter what it would have been this day. I'm like, I'm getting in this phone, and and to spoil it, I did get in that phone. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting in that, John. Yeah, they be capping the ones who do cheat, bro. Real shit, real shit, <laughs> real shit. So, Pete, I'm trying to get in her phone. I wait till she sleep. She sleep. I'm trying to get in there. I'm trying to guess her cool. Right? I put it in there one time. I get it wrong. I'm like, fuck. Right? That's what I do. I like Yagamir. Not you had a whole blueprint. Come on. I'm right, bro. I like Yagamir. I'm like, if I do it again, her shit going to lock. And it's going to let her know somebody try to get her phone. And if you don't want to get caught, bro, don't have your face all in the can while you're trying to type it. Grab the phone, put it up to the ceiling, and then try to cool. Because the face ID going to fail. That's two fails. before you Face ID fail. Password fell. Lock. You dicked. You're dicked. You got to have your face up. Don't even have your face near it. Because now it's trying to scan your face. Uh-uh. Nope. Straight up. So it, I'm like, damn, one more. So peep. I dick her. Right? I call her. Mm -mm, I put the phone by her body. I call her. 
I tap her, your phone rang. <laughs> I call her. Mind you, I'm calling her from my joint, your phone rang. She, hmm. She swiped, she answered. I'm like, what you doing? I'm like, opening. <laughs> right? I'm finessing her. I'm like, opening. I'm like, who this? Mind you, she went back to sleep. Once I'm saying, who this? Stop playing on this phone. So now it's just open. I sit my phone beside her so she could feel like, yo, something sat down. Now I got her phone in my hand and my phone beside her. Dicked her. Dicked her. If she would have woke up, I didn't care. What, I was crashing out. I was crashing out. So now I'm now I'm in the phone. I go right to the spam. Y'all, I go to the third spam, bro. I can't find nothing. It's messages between her and girls. It's straight girls. There's still no niggas. It's straight girls. 18 girls. Right? And there's no niggas. So I'm like, damn, what I really got worried about? I'm like, damn, I don't want to really invade her privacy. I almost gave up because I'm like, I'm going through messages with girls. And they just talking about girl shit. I really don't give a fuck about girl shit. Oh, yeah, this girl. And girls talk a lot of shit. They just talk shit back and forth about other girls. And, and I'm not going to lie. I realize that's girls. That's, they going to do their shit. It's funny to them. They let them do their shit in private. I'm letting I'm letting. All right, gossip. Cool. Yeah, all right, all right cool gossip. One respond cooked me. One girl said, boy, he always on your body. So now I'm like, what story made, made her say he always on your body? Was I on your body? Who, who, who was on your body? Now, one thing, bro, one thing I really hate, bro, a pet peeve, really, like that shit get you left, real shit, bro. If you flexing about the niggas you can get or the niggas you had, that's when the niggas was on my body and, and this when I had the niggas and I really get niggas and screenshots of niggas shooting they shot at you. Why do you give a fuck if you dating me? Why do you give a fuck if you dating me? It don't matter who shooting they shot. Because it's, bro, it's bitches shooting they shot at me right now. I don't screenshot it and post it in a, in a close friends for me and my homies to look at. Or I don't post it on a private spam so my homies can see that a bitch is shooting her shot at me. For what? What? And I'm not texting back. That's girl talk, though. No, bro, that's the wrong shit to flex. Why are you flexing that? I don't want my bitch flexing that. Saying girl talk, that means it apply to all girls. So that mean, all right, young boys probably going to do it, young girls. All right, cool. Older bitches, that's cool for older bitches? No. Famous bitches, is that cool for Beyonce? No. Is that cool for my bitch, personally? No. So what bitch is qualified to just screenshot a nigga shooting his shot and saying, these niggas on my body? So what, what, none of these bitches. You shouldn't be doing that. It... I respect them more if you send it to me like look at this nigga babe like this nigga look dumb as shit or, or just something you feel me if you send me some shit I'd be like yo fuck that nigga you feel me I, I didn't have that happen before you want me to block him like alright yeah gossip with me but don't post it on a private spam on a story so all your 18 niggas can see it so so I'm like yo I want to see what she posted so I go to the three lines I go to archive as soon as I go to archive I'm scrolling through the archive and y'all this girl got a whole nother nigga. She got a whole nother nigga, bro. Whole nother nigga. Whole nother nigga. He's a whole different nigga. I'm like, huh? Mind you, she outside with me every day. She posted me. Now, the reason that it ain't get out that this nigga know me. Y'all got to remember, in Philly, Philly's small. But this is the thing. Girls are going to get away with cheating before a nigga do. You know why? Because girls gossip, but they only say stuff that's not going to hurt them. Girls don't like when they tea get out there. Niggas just talk. So niggas just talk all day. Who they fucked, who they talked to. You feel me? This and the third... But they not going to talk to niggas that they don't know. I'm from a whole... I'm from Uptown. This nigga all the way from Southwest. 
He from a whole different side. So that information is never going to hit me. That info never going to hit me. He's from a whole nother side, bro. Her nigga is... Her nigga from a whole different side. I'm from Uptown. I'm thinking, yeah, this my little... Yeah, I... This nigga from a whole nother side. It was never going to get to me because... Them niggas over there, they don't know my niggas, and my niggas don't know them. And I would never... Niggas don't hit up niggas. We don't hit up niggas. Girls text each other, oh, you look so cute. And TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter is messy. They'll put your ex and your main bitch on one page. The girl you think about shooting at, your ex and your bitch. And girls, bro, girls be getting helped by social media. They not detective. These dating apps just cheating on you. Yeah, these apps are messy, bro. These girls not even detectives. It fall right in their lap. All the info for right in their lap. Shit start connecting the dots. All they doing is just clicking. Click, click, click. It's just unraveling. Then you realize you wasn't clean as you thought. <laughs> that's 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 all that is. But girls. I know girls who won't even like your picture. No trace. They not liking your picture. They not commenting. They ain't never texting you on Instagram. It's straight number. Like, bro, this shit crazy, bro. Girls really get in there. And that's why I said girls, girls, I'm not going to say girls cheat more, but girls are better cheaters. And that's why, bro, that's why it's scary out here, bro. But my thing is, don't let me catch you or all hell going to break loose. And that's that. I'm just speaking as a Gemini. I'm just like, bro, as Rye, as a bull who know he be drawn, just don't let me catch it. Because if I catch it, then it's going to be nut. It's going to get nutty. I'm a draw. I'm a draw. I am. Don't let me catch you. I'm a draw. That's it. But Pete, though, it's a whole nother nigga. She's sleep. And I'm looking like, I'm looking disgusted. Right? Now, I want to hear this audio clip, right? Because it's a screen recording of somebody on the phone. So I'm like, all right, cool. I get right out of bed. The best way to be discreet is in plain sight. Right? I get right out of bed like I would normally if I had the piss. I'm pissed. I'm not about to sneak out and now she feel the bed keep rocking. What's going on over there? Nothing. I get right out of the bed with her phone. Take it to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. I'm 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 over top of the sink. Yeah, bro. I'm over top of the sink. I'm listening to this John. This nigga this nigga is in jail. Right? This is a phone it's a recording of a recording of a phone. And he like, yeah, you better not be talking to no other niggas. And I da And I'm thinking it's another nigga because I see videos, but it's just old videos. Because the nigga been in jail for about two months. The amount of time we've been talking. So first of all, she dick too, bro. She dick broski because as soon as she you went to jail, bro, I got added to the roster. And she dick me because she's still talking to you. She's dicking both of us. So Pete, Pete, I'm just looking, I'm looking at this nigga. I'm seeing old Jones. I see, I see a video of him picking her up. I walk out there. I said, yo, so you got a nigga in jail? She said, huh? I said, you got a nigga in jail? Well, hold up. Let me put my bonnet on. What's, where my bonnet go? Fuck that bonnet. You got a nigga in jail? Shara, what are you? Boom! I threw the fucking phone. The phone break. I'm like, bro, you shout out. Real shit. She tried to snap. You break my fucking phone. I, I, I. You broke my phone. I. At this time, I got all this money for, for performing. Shh, shh, shh. 500. Buy yourself a new phone. Fuck you. Right? So I'm, on, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it, bro. That was real reckless too, and I never would have did that, but I just popped it real quick. I'm like, stop playing with me. Y'all know at that time, ugh, I'm just dropped my songs. We doing a show every day. I'm like, bro, 
I don't give a fuck about your phone. You're not about to fucking gaslight me to make it about a phone. I don't give a fuck. You got a nigga in jail. Fuck is you talking about? I said, hun, buy a new phone. You feel me? And I walk out. Pete. She calling me off other phones. I guess she want to grab her Duke's phone or something. Whatever. That was a dumb move. That's a dumb move for a broke nigga. I realize a lot of shit that I used to be like. Nah, that's. You feel me? It's just like. For a broke nigga, don't do that. I was nowhere near broke. And I was young. And I wasn't ever paying and I wasn't there paying no rent. When you're not paying no rent, that's the time you can make mistakes like that. As soon as you paying rent, that's when you a adult. What makes you an adult? You paying rent and you going through problems. That's an adult. You my man, I wasn't paying no rent, so that shit next show, they're gonna give me five bands again. I don't give a fuck about that five hundred. Fuck you in that phone. Fix it. Right? So she calling me off other phones, bro. She calling me off other phones. I'm driving. I'm out. You feel me? So, <laughs> just for a human, don't do it at all. Somebody cheating on you and you still get them a new phone. You broke their phone. Bro, I threw her phone against the wall. It cracked. What you mean? I'm not the boy to break your shit and tell you dick up. I broke her phone. I told her just get a new job. What I could have did is, uh, 200, get your screen fixed. But, bro, I threw that phone hard as shit. I don't give a fuck if I break it. See, and that's the disconnect right there. That's the disconnect. My mom ain't raised me like that. We both gonna have broke phones. My mom ain't raised me like that. My mom, you know how my mom taught me? My mom taught me the way, the way she was looking at it. Everybody that's not me is less fortunate than me. So help them out. Because we, we good. That's how I always feel. I'm good, bro. Unless it genuinely pissed me off, I, I really don't be worried about shit. You feel me? But I did break her phone. It wasn't my phone. I'm looking like she's less fortunate, bro. Like, and that shit got me through life. Like, just being raised like that. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I, I used to fight over dumb shit. I fought a nigga because he stole my... Bro, a nigga stole my hoagie out my, my... I grabbed snacks. I grabbed snacks at the corner store in high school. A nigga stole my hoagie. I fought him. Like, bro, I used to, I used to fight over just dumb shit. So my mom just taught me like, yo, don't fight, bro, a nigga stole my lunch. Niggas used to go in book bags, steal pens. I used to fight niggas, like, I don't know. A nigga stole my jacket. I ain't see the jacket in three months. He came back, at, he came back like four months later with the jacket on and tried to say he, his mom bought it. I'm like, nigga, this is my jacket, bro. I used to fight niggas over everything. Just cause. Why, wow, I really thought my shit was ringing though? You was a crash out. No, that's worthy shit. But Pete, she ringing me up, ringing me up while I'm driving. I'm like, bro, that shit over. I'm cool. You feel me? I'm going to the crib. I'm straight to the crib. I'm like, yeah, you cool. How could you tell it was your jacket? Bro, it, it had the same dingy, just dents. Like, and it had pen on the, in, the inside collar. I'm like, bro, you ain't had the same pen, bro. He was fraud. He thought the jacket had a cool down. Like, how you gonna wait four months to wear my jacket in my face? Like, come on. At that point, it don't matter if I'm more fortunate than you. Give me my jacket if I beat the shit out of you. Real shit. I don't play about my clothes. That's one that's I told y'all. That's my pet peeve. Don't wear my shit without asking. Don't take my shit. Don't take my shit. I don't care if it's fucked up and I don't want it no more. I'm going to take it off your back and throw it out. Because why you fuck my shit up? Nobody can have it now. Because it's my shit. I don't care what it is. But if I broke your shit, that's just irresponsible, bro. It's your shit. How I feel that way about my shit that I'm going to break your shit and did not pay for it. That's just an L human, bro. I wasn't raised like that. But I get to the crib, bro. I'm ignoring her calls, ignoring her calls, ignoring her calls, right? Cool. I block her number. She texting me off the gram. She texting and shit. I tell my homies. I'm like, yeah, bro. She any John. I'm letting them know the whole thing. I'm not going to lie. I don't tell my friends nothing. Ask Leak or Nas what, what happened in any relationship. They don't know anything. Nobody, nobody knows anything besides what I tell them. I feel like as a boy, if you're telling your friends about your relationship, you don't like the girl. Because shit happens. So as soon as you tell your homies, they're going to look like, yeah, ride with a ride with any bitch. But I'm like, bro, this bitch is really done. So I tell them, like, yeah, y'all know this bitch had the, the audacity. So I'm letting them know, right? Right? I'm letting them know what's going on, right? And this bitch is just texting, so I'm looking. I'm like, yo, look, she texting on the Instagram. I'm trolling her. I'm like, yeah, look, she texting the gram. Like, she really texting me. Yo, why a number start calling me the next day? I don't pay it no mind. 
as soon as a number call me I don't feel like hearing and it rang, I click the power button one time. That shit silence you. And then I know I'm going to let you ring all those times. I'm going to let it ring. I'm not going to hit it twice and, and hang up. Because then you're going to call back. I'm going to let it ring. I'm going to let it be silent and sit it back down and let it ring. Or if I'm on it, I'm going to click it one time and let it ring. And I'm going to do it every single time. I'm that petty. I'm going to let your shit. I'm going to let your shit ring. You could call six times. I'm going to let you ring six times. The full time. Every time. Until you tired. Until you tired. <laughs> until you tired. And then once you start getting bold and you try to put and try to blow it up, keep doing that shit. You're blocked. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. You done. So Pete, she texting. I'm clowning her. This number calling me. I hit it with the one John. Let him ring. Another John. Let him ring. Then I'm like, yo, this is probably an important call. Y'all know those random calls? It may be a doctor's appointment. You've been waiting on a, a package. I don't know. Somebody calling you for a package. You know the random numbers that you do got to answer, though, that you don't be wanting to miss? I'm like, maybe this one of them important calls. So I pick up. I'm like, yo, what's up? Yeah, what's up, bro? You talking to my girl? So I'm like, I'm like, who is this? Mind you, I'm in the car by myself right now. I'm like, who is this? So he like, yeah, you know who this is. She told me, like, you went through her phone or whatever. Ah, da, da. Stop playing me. That's my girl, bro. You don't think you can. Beep, beep, beep. Mind you, I got more annoyed because I picked up and it was on speaker. But it auto, like, put it on the car because I got the I got my phone plugged up. So it now it's playing on the car, right? So so now I was just I I just was probably I probably was listening to Drake, and you call and now you in the car, hang up on you. I already dubbed your bitch, bro. I hit her, I hit your bitch, I humped your bitch, got her got her screen fixed, slept in her bed, watched move watched the Titanic with her. You feel me? Went shopping with her. She posted me. I posted her like, bro, your bitch is done. Don't call me saying my bitch. Why are you even saying my? You feel me? My bitch, this, that, and the third. Shut the fuck up. So the next time he called back, I'm in a trolling mood. I pull out my other phone, right? <laughs> right? Hang up on you. Not in the mood. I'm in my trolling bag. I pick up my other phone. Boom. Right? Soon as I put it on speaker. Hello? He, yo, stop hanging up on me real shit. Why he talking, right? I'm on my other phone. I go to YouTube, right? I go to YouTube. It's Freaky Friday. Right? Chris Brown playing. It's playing in... Hello? It's Freaky Friday. Right? I'm playing Freaky... <laughs> right? Mind you. And I'm bored. So I'm playing that John right into the speaker. He hang up. <laughs> so now I'm laughing. Because <laughs> now I'm laughing. <laughs> So now I'm laughing. I'm not going to lie. My go-to and my go-to when somebody's beefing with me and they're going to do this and, hey, yo, you better, is to troll you. I troll you because I I'm basically saying, come do it. Every nigga who ever threatened me, yeah, right, I, 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 pop it, do it. Do it. You in jail, nigga. I don't even know you. I don't know where you from and you don't know me. Because your bitch don't know me. She never even been to my house. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I troll a nigga in a heartbeat. I'm never. You know when you won? If you get me to type paragraphs back with you. No, nigga. What, nigga? What? 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 You never getting that out of me. Never. Never. Never pull up any beef. Pull up any beef. Bet I trolled the shit out you. Bet I trolled you. If we really was beefing, bet I trolled you. So I, I hit him with the Freaky Friday joint. He hang up. Right? 
So now I unblock the girl. I call her. I say, yo, you got people calling my phone? You gave that nigga my number? No, I didn't. I didn't give him. I didn't give him your number. Um, yeah, I, I. Cool. He got my number though, and you the only nigga who know him. Stop giving people my number. Hang up on her. She texts me. Can you talk right now, ladies? After you cheat, you can't try slide into your soft girl era. Yeah, I just no. I I was just I was just wondering if I. Not why you try to get me back. You can leave me alone and get to yourself, girl. Era, don't try to. Can you talk right now? She never talks like that, mind you. She never talked like that. Can you talk right now? I text back. No, I can't. And I'm the pettiest nigga. I'm pettier than Drake. I just don't show it because I know that's going to be my downfall. I'm the pettiest nigga in the world. I know how to. I know how to contain it. I'm the pettiest nigga in the world, bro. I can get real, bro. You, you got to really, like, piss me off to see Maximum Petty. And I don't want y'all to ever see that. You see little signs of Rod being petty, but I would never, bro. I would, me, Maximum Petty, y'all, they going to be like, yo, this nigga drawn, bro. This nigga drawn, they going to be like, yo, he's wildin'. So I'm not even trying to draw on her, bro. I'm not even trying to draw on her. So I'm petty. I'm like, no, I don't have no time. Mind you, I'm not doing nothing. I locked my phone back. Cool. She calling. Hang up. Cool. Tomorrow, calling me. Cool, they gonna call you sassy? When having that? I'm I'm not answering. Cool. Next day after that, no call. Day after that, call. So she giving it some breaks now. I'm like, yo, this shit gonna slow down soon. Another call pop up. Cool. I see it's the jail number. Pick up. Yo, what's up? You ain't like you ain't like that freaky Friday song, bro? Why you had hung up last time? Right? He like, young boy, my, my, my niggas know who you is. As soon as we see you, we gonna, we gonna smoke you. And the reason I'm not scared of Philly niggas is because they all talk like that. Any Philly nigga you talk to, when I see you, they all just, they all just threaten to kill you. But my thing is, in Philly, when I'm walking, I think every nigga trying to kill me that I don't know. Because Philly dangerous, bro. You feel me? You calling me wasting your minutes. Stop wasting your minutes, bro. Philly niggas are drop the ad here. Like, bro, I don't even know you. That's my thing. You can't get no respect from me, bro. I never saw you in action. But <laughs> real shit, your minutes, nah, real shit, bro, real shit, you behind bricks, bro. So I say, yo, bro, why you don't pull up? What, yo, what? And you still talking, that shit cool? And I just told my homie, my homie this, my homie that, I said, bro, you sucking your homie dick, bro. I said, again, why you won't pull up? Because you can't. You behind bars, bro, serve your time and stop worrying about me if I go fuck your bitch again. She calling. You feel me? So I'm dicking him. I'm like, bro, serve your time, bro. What you got? A couple more months? Fuck out of here. Go hit some push-ups, nigga. Eat a cheese sandwich. Go hoop. Go hoop and get elbowed when you go take a layup, nigga. Shut the fuck up. I'm never arguing with a nigga who went to jail. You got caught. We all do illegal shit. Even the slightest people. Oh, I'm a lie. And it don't matter what you do, bro. Just like it's no measure to sins, it's no measure to crime. You doing crime, you doing crime. Oh no, I wouldn't kill nobody, but I'm a litter and still, you still a criminal. Everybody, you got caught, dickhead. You a nigga who got caught. I'm not arguing with you. You got caught, bro. You're literally in time out. They paused your life. You can't even swipe your car. You can't pick a TV show to watch. Drake drop, you can't listen to it. Your bitch posted me, you can't see it. Your mom crying tonight. She feel lonely. You can't hold her, bro. You in jail. I don't respect no nigga in jail. Shut up. You in time out. We can worry about this in a year. <laughs> Resume in a year. I'm going to worry about you in a year, bro. Because this week I got a meeting. I'm not, I'm not respecting no nigga in jail. Ever. 
Like, <laughs> ever, bro. Literally. But peep it, though. Peep it. <laughs> How deep are you in the story? We we at the end, bro. We at the end. What PC you use for streaming? Uh, a, a, a standard XC. Mm-hmm. Still, boys, always talk about when I see you is a whole different story. All right, look. Side story. Real quick. I'm going to make it quick. It's only been one time that a nigga said, when I see you ride, I'm going to do something. And then they tried to do something. And I'm going I'm to give them, them their props. I'm going to give them their props. Again, that's not speaking, that's not speaking on nobody's name. It's only, it's only one person who saw me and tried to do something. And they couldn't. But that was when if we was beefing with the when we was beefing with the goats and we went to that show. If it was no security right there, everybody would have been fighting. They try to swing on us, we try to swing on them. That's the only time. That shit felt like a straight out of Compton movie. That's the only time. They said they said Brock, when we see you, Brock. They said, Brock, when we see you, we gonna slap this shit out you. Rob, when we see you. When they saw us, we all looking like nigga what? They was looking jumpy. I ain't gonna lie, them niggas was really trying to scruff. If they ain't have security and we had security, we had to walk past each other. All the old heads, watch out, watch out, watch out. That was it. That's the only time, though. Nah, you from the same city and still didn't get it in shit fake, gang. And still ain't get it in? Yeah, nah, shit fake on they end. And I don't threaten nobody like that. I don't say when I see you, I'm gonna kill you because I'm not gonna ever look for you. And I don't plan on seeing you. I don't like you. It's simple shit with me. I don't want to see no nigga I don't like. I don't like you. And if I do see you, I'm not worried about you. And if you try to touch me, we're going to shoot you. We got a gun license. That's what I'm on, bro. That's what I'm on with niggas. It's simple, bro. Stop popping it with me, though. You're not going to say what you want to say. And when you see me, you're not going to do nothing. Shut up. That's just it, bro. That's it. That's all it is. That's my whole philosophy. Don't pop it with me because I don't pop it with nobody, bro. I don't. I don't tell niggas, yeah, I'm going to beat you the fuck up. Why? Because I'm not going to look for you. And I and I, and I I don't care. That's too dedicated. If you looking for me, if you looking for me, if you out here looking for Rod right now, you're bored. You bored. <laughs> but peep it, though. He said, yeah, when, when my niggas see you, ah, 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 I'm trolling the shit out of him. I hang up on a nigga, right? So now it's heated. I never tell my I never tell my niggas about situations, but just in case it might be something, I notify my niggas. So I notify my niggas. I say, yo, this bro, this is Paige right here. Broski said when he see me is up, so watch y'all back. Alright? Ask my homies. Every time I pop it with a nigga, and I feel like as a if you a crash out homie, because sometimes I do crash out. If you if you be crashing out sometimes, notify your homies. When you when you when you crashing out, cause they gotta be outside. In Philadelphia, they don't care who you is, bro. That slap your friend cause he be with you. That slap your mom if you if you really get disrespectful. That slap anybody they see in pictures with you. If you out here crashing out, tell your friends that you're crashing out, because now you in TikToks. Now I'm in TikToks with you hitting this ah, and they smoke me, and cause you cause you've been popping it with them. Yeah, we got your man's ride. Like, no. Nah. Don't don't be out here popping it and not telling me. I tell my friends every time. I tell, oh, shit, hold up. Camera froze. Camera froze. Ew, that's bad freeze. Oh, I'm so ugly. <laughs> Why well, look that ugly? No. All right, there it go. <laughs> Yeah, bro, don't pop it. So I told my cam always freeze. I know. So I told my friends look like annoying. Oh, so you trying to bug me? Say no more, bro. We gonna do it privately, bro. Say no more. I'm gonna text you about it. That's cool. Mind you, he just said, "Yo, that's bubbing words. Don't say that." Then he gonna say it. <laughs> so, uh, how old are you? I'm twenty. I'm twenty. All right, peep, though. Peep, 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 peep. Lock in, lock in. This is the best part. Yo, TikTok, I'm not going to lie, bro. Y'all know y'all about, y'all know y'all got to come in here. This is the best part. This is the brand of potato. This one, I'm about to tell y'all if niggas slid or not. This is the best part. And they say live will end in one minute. Look, they just hit me with the noti. Y'all got to slide to the Twitch. She loves right. Y'all know I got to do it. Come on. It's not me. Please, y'all got to slide. Slide on me. I'm about to end it. I'm not ever going to be nutty and say, oh, my phone dying. Pull up. Pull up.
Why bro so happy? The world not sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Nancy told wait, who said bro was too happy for eating? She said Raw was too happy. I'ma see y'all. Pull up to the Twitch. She loves right. Gotta end. My live jump. My shit is not my shit is not like um Brock shit. We just had 1.3k niggas in there. Niggas be on Brock Jones talking about yeah, yeah, TikTok fell off. Never, bro. I could post some relatable shit, a skit. I could yap, I could dance the shit. My page really that, bro. I, it just take too much. It take too much energy for TikTok though. That just that, that's the only thing. My man was just hungry. She said you was too greedy. I'm like, damn, he can't ever be greedy. All right, I just ended this live. Bro, I love when my live I'm being, bro. Where you bed at? It's right there on the floor. We about to move. We about to move, so I ain't ever um. I gotta break my bed frame down and shit. That's probably your first time in here. What's up? We about to move to ATL. Yo, if you're new to the channel, what's up? Welcome over to the Twitch. Welcome to the Twitch. Yeah. Welcome to the Twitch. Yo, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm a full-time Twitch streamer now. I stream every day except for Thursdays. I need y'all to pull up to the Twitch. She loves Ride and follow me. I stream every day, nigga, and this shit entertaining every day at all times. We about to get on GTA RP um, after we do this Met Gala shit, too. The streams be lit, bro, and it's a calm day right before I move to ATL. Come on, now. Come on, now. All right, let's get into the story, but Pete, I wanted, I wanted to end that live so y'all could... So y'all could just come over here. Mm-hmm. All the new people, say what's up. If you never, if you never, uh, if you never been to the stream, say what's up, bro. Now look, now look, lock in, lock in, lock in. So I hang up on him. I notify my friends. This, this was my exact message, right? Not, not exact, but this, this was, this was what I was saying for real, for real, right? One K years. <laughs> come on. All the people from the from the TikTok say, yo, what's up? I'm trying to say what's up to niggas. What's up? Where niggas at? What's up? We in the Twitch. Say what's up. Yeah, we in the building. You hear me? Thanks for the follows, y'all. Follow follow me and sub up. You hear me? This shit entertaining. Hang out with me tonight. It's Saturday night. You're not, you're not doing nothing. Let me entertain you. Let me show you why I'm about to be the best streamer this year. You hear me? I'm about to go crazy, bro. What we in month three, month four of taking over streaming? Ew, lethal! 25 subs! Ew! Lethal! Ew! Ew! Let's go! Yes, sir! Y'all don't 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 hit him with the EP yet. I'm gonna get into the story and then I'ma and then I'ma promote that shit. Monty, thanks for the sub. Chill, don't start snapping, y'all. Don't start snapping. Alright, Pete. Let's get in the story. He's stalling to make up a story. And I lied about the 25 gifted subs. Ah! I shouldn't have said thank you, cause I lied. And Miles didn't just gift the sub. Damn, bro. Miles, I can't tell you thank you. I'm stalling. And I'm saying thank you while I'm thinking about a story. Cool. Come on, bro. Shut the fuck up. We got the TikTok niggas in here. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, bro, I tell my niggas, this was, this was my exact words. I'm like, yo, y'all, I just popped it with these niggas. Watch y'all back, bro. This is their Instagram. This is what these niggas look like. Now, I saw a nigga in the TikTok before I ended it. He said, no, nah, that's not how you do it, gangsta. I already explained why you should notify your homies, but if you telling me the most gangster niggas or the most thug niggas don't notify their homies when they just slid or or they just popped it or did something like that, y'all are the dumbest thugs in the fucking world. But I know y'all not that dumb, so I know y'all do. That would be the dumbest shit in the world. Like, <laughs> the bro just tell me to shut the fuck up. No, Miles, thanks for the sub. Yo, dogs, thanks for the sub. But I notify them. They're like, all right, yo, cool. We backing you regardless. I said, all right, say no more. They said they backing me regardless. Now, look, that's how you know you got a good friend. When you with some beef and your friend back, take a step back, bro, that's not your friend. You hear me? That is not your friend. So my friend's like, yo, I'm backing you up. I'm like, cool. So, peep, I'm going about my normal life. I cut this bitch off. I end up blocking her number back. I cut this bitch off. Y'all, a month. A month go by, 
something else. I'm just doing my own thing, bro. I'm just being Rajis. I ain't gonna lie. I'm enjoying being Rajis. In 2022, a little bit. I had a, like a little bit of clout. I'm just like, all right, I'm enjoying like, I'm enjoying life. I for actually forgot about the nigga. I low key got a couple arch nemesis. Yo, after after chat after this story time, let's get a pen and let's write down every nigga that hated me, bro. I think we can probably fill up a page starting from Twiz and the projects going all the way to now. Every nigga I didn't no no not now not now not now. Remind me though. I bet we could. I, I bet it's more than ten niggas. I bet it's more than ten niggas, bro. Niggas really hate us. We got arch nemesis. Yes. We got Arch Nemesis. He started right off, big buddy. <laughs> Real shit. I'm about to start spamming. Real shit, but we really got Arch Nemesis, bro. But peep, though. And I know what it is. I'm a sarcastic-ass boy. And my trolling just really get me in that mood where niggas just want to fuck me up. But a month go by, I'm living. I got a little bit of clout. I'm Rod G's. It don't ever matter. Niggas just hate me, though. Right? So, my I'm in the car. It's... I'm in the car, right? Is at that time was that Mir? Y'all remember y'all remember Mir? Who remember Mir? My sarcasm is on autopilot, how I take it off. My shit. Big Mir. Yeah, Big Mir. So it's me, Big Mir, is Leap, and uh it's Ray. Right? So Reed passed me the phone, and he like, yo, these niggas on live popping it. So I'm like, who is these niggas, right? So I'm looking, the nigga out of jail. He, yeah, and that bitch-ass dancing nigga. What's up with Reed? Reed swaggy. He light-skinned. You know light-skinned niggas. They don't like looking. That's one thing about light-skinned niggas. They so freaky that they don't like looking dirty. So they just be, you know, they be on it. Like, he just making sure he stack his cheese. Light-skinned niggas got too much pride. <laughs> he out the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, no, yeah, he out the way, bro He got little cheese He's stacking up his little pile Philly niggas got a pile of cash A gun Feel me, some good drip A car Like, <laughs> he chilling But, yo They like, yo, these niggas talking crazy on live So I'm like, damn Let me see So they like, yeah, that dancing ass nigga I, I, I. So I'm in the live So I start trolling So I'm like, I'm right here So everybody like, yo, he in the live He in the live, he in the live, he in the live So I'm like, I'm right here Right, as soon as they say he in a live, he say join up. So I joined up. I said, yo, I turned the light on, right? Now, mind you, one thing I want to tell y'all about trolling. If you a troll, don't be careless. Don't be careless. So, boom, camera out. If I'm on live with you, I'm not like this. I'm not like this. I'm not like this. I'm like this. If we beefing, this the only angle you getting from me, unless I'm in the crib. You not seeing nothing but ceiling or sky or, or whatever's above me and my face. You got to look down. You got to know how to troll. You got to remember these people who saying, I'm going to kill you. When people are threatening your life, you have no time to lack. So I ain't about to be, yeah, nigga, yeah. And then, yeah, dancer, hip, hip shaker, Rod G's. Is reportedly Rajis and three friends like nah, you feel me? Like nah, nah. That's just dumb as shit. That's because you lacking. That's lacking, bro. Literally, that's literally lacking. So I'm I, I get on the live. I'm like this. So I'm like yo. I turn on the light. I'm like yo. He like yeah, you bitch ass young boy. I told you I'm gonna catch you when I get out of jail. I said I never was running. That's cool though. He said what? He ain't get the joke. Cool. I'm not even gonna keep pushing it. I said you heard me. He said, "Yeah." I said, "What you wanted me? To, what you what you wanted me up this joint for?" So he like, "When I catch you, young boy, you better not run. Real shit, y'all dancing, young boys. Y'all real crazy." I'm like, "Ah, ah, ah, cool." He popping it, right? I said, "Bro, I told you eat a dick when you was in jail. I'm telling you, eat a dick right now, bro. Eat a dick." His man's in the back laugh a little bit. You hear a little, <laughs> a little snuffle. Mind you, it's hot outside, bro. You don't got a cool. I dicked you. Your man's just laughing. Once I get your man's laughing, you done. Fuck you, eat too. Janelle, <laughs> Janelle talking about fuck you, eat too. Little giggle. <laughs> like a little, like, just a, you feel me? So I'm popping it. Mind you, I didn't have as much clothes as I had now. If I was popping it with somebody on live, it'd be like 2,000 niggas on there like, yo, what are you doing? Like, no, nah, they want, they love it. They love it when I when I when I uh pop it on the live. I can't get that to y'all. I get that to y'all one time with the woo this shit. That's cause he really had me, <laughs> he had me pissed. But I, I I don't like going live and 
popping it. Like, I like to be strategic. You feel me? But Pete, I'm popping it with him. Eat a dick. He like, uh huh, yeah, young boy. All right, watch this, watch this. Cool. Boom. Never week pass. He still don't catch me. Y'all, I'm by myself. Right? I'm by myself. <laughs> now, it's a plaza with a family dollar in it. I'm, I, I'm feed out. <laughs> Feed out, right? Feed out. I'm in the I'm in the Adidas slides. I got it, you know the Adidas slides, the uncomfortable Jones. They got like the little hard ass plastic toes out, ashy knee. This is my neighborhood though, right? So I walk into the Family Dollar Plaza. You feel me? I'm just grabbing some paper plates, some paper cups, and some juice. Like I'm just trying to grab some shit, right? As I'm ringing up, doop doop. I peep Broski and his homie walk right in, walk straight, straight to the back though, right? So I ball my right fist up. I put everything in my pocket. At the time, I had the North Face pants. Zip the North Face pants up. I got one fist balled up. I'm like, yo, I'm going out with hooks. <laughs> Somebody going down. My mom always told me, if you get jumped, pick one of them and fuck them up. If you try and fight both in, yeah. And to fight him and nah. Fuck all that. Charge at one of them niggas and win. And beat his ass. That's what you gotta do. Don't try to fight two at once. While the other one try and fuck you up, kill this other nigga. If he hit you too hard, take it out on this nigga. Choke him out. He hitting you while you choking him out. Now hit this nigga with an elbow. Like, bro, take this one nigga out. He's gonna remember. And when they jump you and they come out of it, tell him to show his face. Tell him show his face. So I'm ready. I'm like, yo. So I text my man. I said, yo, run up to the ass. I'm about to get jumped. Right? So I tell him, run up to the ass. I'm about to get jumped. So they bringing me up. Boop, 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 boop. Mind you, she. Oh, my God. It's no, it's no receipt paper. Oh, my gosh. Looks under the counter. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not running. I'm going to ring up my shit. Because I feel like if I didn't ring up my shit, I'm running. And my pride. That, that'd be my thing. My pride. Now, at that time, you should have caught me before I had the gun license. You should have caught me before I had the gun license. Now I got the gun. I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a sit there hoodie hand and pie. I love the hoodie. I, I love the hoodie combo. I look you right in your eyes like, what are you doing? <laughs> the hoodie combo straight like this. You feel me? But bro, now she oh, receipt paper. I gotta go to the back. So now I'm waiting, bro. Now I'm just waiting. You feel me? I'm like, yo, you can't print my receipt. Cause now I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> come on, you feel me? So I'm like, yo, you can't print my receipt. She, uh, I mean, if you don't really need no receipt, you good. You paid for it? I said, yeah, I paid for it. She's like, did you get your change? I'm like, damn, I didn't get my change. It's like six dollars and change. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. She come back. She put the shit right in. Boop. She rip it. Prints it out. Boom. Scan the receipt. She give me the receipt. So when she give me the receipt, bro, boom, I'm walking out. I'm like, all right, I'm cool. As I'm walking out, right, it's a save a lot. It's a, it's a family dollar, and then it's a save a lot. So I'm walking out of the parking lot. It's a long, straight walk. So you can see who's walking out because it's, it's just a straight path out. You feel me? From the family dollar. From the family dollar, you could just see straight out. So as I'm walking out, the niggas is like, yo. Shit just gave me an ad. Damn, these ads. Wait, ride. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. They talk about hold on. Oh fuck no, I need to subscribe, not the ad. <laughs> they dick right now. They talking about bro. Tell them sub up. Spam sub up. Spam the sub emotes. Y'all tell them sub up. Tell them sub up. Tell them sub up. <laughs> tell them sub up, y'all. Spam them sub emotes. <laughs> Yes, sir. Y'all got to sub up, man. Y'all got to sub up. Look, I'm going to get into it. Pete, I'm walking street. It's a straight path. So as they walking out, they said, hey, yo. So I keep walking. All right? I know they talking to me, but I keep walking. I hear, hey, yo, I know you hear me. Right? I keep walking. Now, what is a Southwest nigga doing in North? Who knows? Right? So now I hear, scrape, 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 scrape. Like, I hear, like, like a nigga running. I drop the bag. I throw my hand up. 
Once I throw my hand up and they running, right? Where your car? Bro, this is my neighborhood. I didn't need my car. You feel me? I didn't need my car, bro. I'm like, yo, this is my neighborhood. This is my ass. Right? So now they running up on me. I drop my bag. I throw my hand up, right? As soon as I throw my hand up, he said, mm-hmm, then I said I was going to catch you, him boy. Now, at this, at this moment, I'm like, yo, I'm a done bun. Like, I'm scared of shit. I'm done. And I thought I was done because he said, when I see you, I'm going to smoke you. This nigga ain't had no gun. Smoke me with what? Your fist? <laughs> Niggas got a better chance, bro. Niggas got a better chance saying, when I see you, I'm going to fight you. I might give you the Addy. This nigga don't even got no gun. I'm like, you bitch ass nigga. Like, fuck. That be my thing, y'all. I don't want y'all to ever think. And I'm never going to lie to y'all about how I'm feeling. I was scared because I'm like, yo, this nigga about to shoot me. You feel me? Bro, this nigga don't got no gun. Bro, if you, if you, if you pop, my dude, I didn't have no gun either, but you don't either. I feel like if it's straight fists and fists, Bro, I tell y'all all the time, bro. If there's no guns in this world, y'all would see me troll niggas OD. Y'all would see me troll niggas OD. If there was no guns in this world and you got to catch me and beat me up with your bare fist, I, w I would probably be, bro. I'd probably troll more, bro. I'd probably troll more than 6'9", bro. Not because I can't beat nobody, but because it's just like, all right, y'all, jump me. I take an ass. Like, I'm not letting nobody beat me to death. <laughs> You ain't beating me to death. That's crazy. You feel me? So I'm going to just, all right, all right, you caught me. You beat me up. Cool. I'm going to slide back and beat you up. That's how it used to be. It used to be like, all right, you come to my neighborhood. We rumble. No, there's no rumbling. Niggas pull up and, bah, 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 your dick. Your family, no. Your family, you feel me? They, they dramatic. You done. Like, no, nah, this nigga don't ever got no gun. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I throw my hand at, mind you, just over a bitch. I told y'all the backstory so y'all can have it, but I told y'all this is over a bitch, bro. This is over a bitch. You feel me? From hands to hell. No, if you get beat to death. <laughs> no, if you get beat to death, you a victim or they jumped you bad. One of those jaws. <laughs> yo, what if a nigga beat you to death? One on one. On one. one, on one. <laughs> What if a nigga beat you to death one on one? <laughs> that happened to my cousin. Oh. That's crazy. Cool. So, basically, Pete. My, nah, damn, that's fucked up. Yeah, I'm, that's crazy. Nah, I feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, though. It's cool. Yo, AJ, thanks for the sub. You too. No little bro. Appreciate you. It's okay to laugh. <laughs> nah. Come on. Nah, it's cool, bro. I got it. What the fuck? I got it under control. I got it under control. You acting like it's crazy. Let's keep going, guys. Yeah, come on, y'all. All right, so, Pete. Why way to ruin the mood, asshole? <laughs> bro, chill. Her cousin dead, bro. Literally, you drunk, bro. Bro, I'm cool, bro. Maya, you know that. You know that's not me, bro. <laughs> Come on, y'all. That's nutty. We better than this. <laughs> Rude. Anyways, it was a G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> it was a G.I. Jane joke. He slapped the shit out of him. All right, Pete, 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 Pete. <laughs> He's still going. All right, look, Pete, Pete. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of uh, Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. All right, Pete, Pete, Pete. Um, fuck, I throw my hand up, right? I throw my hand up. I peep this nigga don't got no gun. Alright? So the nigga like, yeah, didn't we say we gonna catch you? And he do this, like. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Kinda like, yeah, I'm gonna punch on you. But my hand like this. 
I'm a counter bull. I'm a counter bull. I'm a weave your shit and throw everything I got. So I'm always, you got to throw the first punch so I could try to predict it, right? So now he like, kind of like, so I'm like, fuck is he? Fuck he Joe Slot? Like he, Perry. <laughs> so now he kind of like, you feel me? And they like, yeah, stop, stop playing me, right? So one of his homies pull out a phone. So when he pull out a phone, I smack that shit. Mm, smack it hard as shit. Like Philly niggas know how to really... I don't know if this is a skill, but Philly niggas know how to really smack shit out of niggas' hands. Like, platters, phones, something you pick up. Like, like just smack your hand and everything fall out. I hit him with a... Right? Phone crash. Right? They start swinging on me. <laughs> they start swinging on me. So now I'm like this. Now I'm like this. I can't even counter because I smacked this phone. I'm like, you're not recording me, cuz. He tried to... The one boy tried to, yeah, then we say we're going to catch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talking to me. I'm backing up like this. As I'm backing up like this, he popping it. The one boy tried to pull the phone out. You're not pulling no phone out. Put that shit down. Smack his phone. You tripping, blunts. <laughs> Y'all see how I be dicking, bro? Hit up. Get that shit up. Shit. It pop your hand. Bro, I know how to pop you. Hand shake your hand and smack the blunt out your hand all at once. It's a crazy. All. That's all at once. Nigga try to get a cutscene. Yeah, he try to get a little clip on me. You not get no clip. So, right. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Popped him like he your son. Bro, you should have saw the way he. Yeah, nigga. Right out his hand. And, yeah, and they try to pull it out his, his windbreaker. Nigga, no. So, after I smack that shit, they start trying to swing on me. Yo, why they try to swing on me? I see, I see four. I almost miscounted feet. I saw four feet run up. Start swinging them jaws. Hmm, 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 hmm. My niggas come. You my man, bro. My niggas come. Start swinging on niggas. I get right up. <laughs> Yo, when you let me tell y'all, it's the difference between boxing and brawling, right? And mind you, I told y'all this is why I told my niggas. I said, "Yo, beware. The niggas might try to get us." I text my homie at the register. Run up to the ass. You feel me? Now, when you boxing, you really try to get in there. Bro, when you jump in somebody, y'all jump people incorrectly because y'all box. When you jump in somebody, you're not supposed to box. You're supposed to brawl because of strength and numbers. Even if you get one punch off, y'all all got to throw y'all hardest punches. That's how you That's how you really, like, jump a nigga. I know, bro. I, I've been jumped before. That shit hurts your body because you balled up, so your face not getting hit. But they hitting you everywhere else with hard punches. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, nigga punching you. Hmm. They kicking you like, bro. That shit hurt. So I'm on bra mode. So I go here. Hmm. Hmm. We just swinging on them niggas. Them niggas trying to swing back. You feel me? One ball fall. We start kicking him. He try to help his man. I hit him. It's a free fall in the middle of the jaw. You feel me? It's a Burger King. It's a Burger King. It's a Burger King, like, right there at the exit of the plaza. If y'all know what plaza I'm talking about, it's down north. It's, uh, it's near my grandma's house. It's near 7th and Lehigh. I could never be imagined being jump. Royal Rumble. It's a 3v2, though. It's a 3v2. Germantown Ave. No, it's on, it's on, uh, Lehigh. 7th and Lehigh, to be exact. There's a library right here. Next to there is a plaza. It's Family Dollar, Save a Lot, and Burger King right there. Oh, that's around my house. <laughs> You going fraud? Seventy <laughs> Eighth Street in Lehigh. Ew, you can tell when people not from the bitty. All right, Pete. Pete, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's right there in the bank. Yes, it's a s green bank. I don't know if that's TD or citizen. It's not citizen. It's probably TD bank. Mm -hmm. Lehigh, long ass trip. It's long as shit. So we all and Little Caesars. Yep. So we all just swing. They didn't have the Little Caesars in yesterday. No, they didn't have the Little Caesars. The Little Caesars wasn't there. Little Caesars there now. In 2022, around that time, it wasn't. It wasn't there, bro. You feel me? So we all, we all just swinging. We all just swinging. We beating them niggas the fuck up, bro. We beating these niggas the fuck up. After we fuck him up and shit, old head, hey, hey, stop fighting, old head. It's, it's bringing too much attention. We start running. We laughing. We running and laughing. We like them bitch ass niggas, bitch ass nigga. We screaming, bitch ass nigga, ah, bitch ass nigga, bitch ass nigga. You feel me? We get back to the crib. We laughing, bro. That night we ordering platters. We on live. We not here talking about the beef, but we just on live. 
You know a nigga feeling good when he just so I'm just on live like this while I'm eating. How y'all feeling? I'm not even saying nothing on live. I'm not even saying I fucked the nigga up or nothing. I'm just saying like yo. I'm just saying like yo. How y'all feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm waiting for somebody to just join my live. Nobody joining the live. I turn the live off. You feel me? I caught a Bro, mind you, I don't got this nigga number. I'm drawn. I called a jail number back. That shit not answer. I'm like, damn. What's this nigga contact? Mind you. I'm sitting here trying to get this nigga attention, bro. This nigga is posting. He got a clip. He got a clip and Family Dollar like, yeah, this nigga shopping. So I'm thinking they taking long in the back. Yo, they could have been jumped me in the store. They wasn't real crash outs. Real demon niggas would have saw me at that door and beat the shit out of me at that register. These niggas was recording me. Talking about, yeah, young boy, we just caught you outside. Mind you, whole time, I know your face hurting right now. Your face hurt, bro. My face don't hurt. Your face hurt. You was recording me. In the cut. Like, yeah, we just caught this nigga at Family Dollar. We should fuck him up. So they been knew I was there. Bro, don't lie, bro. If you from Philly, you know real crash out niggas. They would have saw you. Soon as they saw you, they would have fucked you up. They don't give a fuck about civilians. They don't give a fuck about a public area. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Real, real nigga. I know niggas that really probably would have just draw. Bro, really draw. The niggas was recording. I'm like, yo, these niggas is fans, bro. These niggas was fans. And all they did was give my man time to get up here and make it up here. Yes, bro. Anaya, thanks for the sub. But no, that's long. That's long story short. Um, that's fight story time. I remember because I kept I kept a screenshot of that page, bro. On the next therapy session, I'm gonna give you an update on what I was talking about now. Say no more. Yeah, I took a screenshot of her page when she had 15 followers, and then once it went to 18, uh, that's how I knew because I had a screenshot of that shit. But no, that's 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 a fight that had happened. Just on a side note. That's a side note, John. And I think I, I wanted to tell y'all about that shit, too. That's one of them, John. I'm just like, bro, I can't even tell, tell about because it just happened. It might actually get involved with some gun shit. Because when I was with Miranem, Miranem was in Southwest. So I was in their territory, but I never saw them niggas in Southwest. I ain't gonna lie. What's the name GTA server you be on? Uh, District 10? D10? Some shit like that? Yeah. No, I missed it. Yeah, no. W Store. I hate fake crazy niggas. Faking it. W story time though. Yo, if you in the chat, if you new here, spam W's. If uh if you sub, let me get the W emotes. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I need a big I need a big favor from y'all. I need a big favor from y'all. I'm dropping a tape May 24th. May 24th, next Friday. I'm dropping eight songs on that bitch. I need y'all to pre-save that shit for me. You hear me? I'm going to keep streaming. I just need y'all to do that for me. That shit free. That shit zero dollars. Click that link. They, my mod spamming in the chat. Click that link. It costs zero dollars, bro. It don't cost you nothing. You hear me? We about to, we about to hit 4,000 pre-saves. I'm trying to hit that shit. You feel me? We at 3,600. 3,600 or something. I need y'all to pre-save that for me. We got Apple Music. We got Spotify. We got Amazon Music. You feel me? Pre-save that for... You ain't never got a sub. If you ain't got no money, cool. $5 for a sub. Y'all want a sub? Cool. Pre-save that junk for me, though. That shit gonna be hot, too, bro. That shit gonna be hot. And and when it drop, y'all can come on stream and listen to it with me. Or come back and tell me if you liked it. Is it a tape or an EP? It's both. I'm the first nigga to do that. D10 be full all times of the day. <laughs> I got Pryo, so they be letting me in. Yo, broski, thanks for the sub and the follow. Ew, the sub and the follow. Can you pre-save that, Joan, for me, though? You feel me? That's what really matters. Can you pre-save that tape? Yo, if you watching this on YouTube, yo, if you on the Twitch, say bye to YouTube. Say bye to YouTube, y'all, in the chat real quick. I'm going to keep talking to y'all, but say bye to the YouTube. You're going to see yourself in the YouTube video. Say bye. You feel me? Everybody say bye. But look, yo, if you watching this on YouTube, I love you. Um, Subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to hit 100K on this channel. You hear me? I'm about to start dropping the vlogs on this channel. I'm about to vlog. You feel me? And we got the stream content. You hear me? I'm going to be a vlogger and the stream content, boy, on this page until we hit 100K. Once we hit 100K, we're going to really lock in with that main. But I, I, I stream on Twitch now every day besides Thursdays. And I'm about to move to ATL, so stay up, stay up to date. But I'm going to see y'all.